2023. Yeah, it's time for a little bit racing. We have got here Gricard Archer. Yes. Hi. He will compete here today. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not today, not yeah. as a rocket ride, but rocket uh, ride as well. Yeah. yeah. Rocket ride also. Yes. And uh, you what did you expect from, from uh, this weekend? Uh, rocket ride. I may Are you a rocket? Open. I was. I think it was a few years ago and it was really nice, but uh, we went a few times up and I, of course it was good, but in the, the last time we went down and I wait normally every 5 seconds, 10 seconds and then we start up again. And then wait like 45, uh, no, uh, we wait like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because we didn't know they are putting on the kill. Yeah. And when I jumped first, I said, whoa, what's going on in the air? I was thinking, should I go or... And then yeah. I didn't stop to push and hit the hill and I yeah. my bike stuck there yeah. and I said goodbye to Rocket Ride. It was a great experience. So but, so we hope for this year for a little bit more luck and uh, a little bit more knowledge of the track. Me, uh, this year, maybe, if I, I don't think I will push that much because It's difficult, I don't think that I can uh, go fast. Anyway. And uh, so overall for the for the top guys here, yeah. what, what do you expect? They are all here if it's if it's Ray, Mario Roman, Wei Yang, uh, yeah, and all the other top guys, Theodor yeah. Kabachev and yeah. Alfredo Gomez and yeah, yeah everybody is here. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Frost. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of strong UK guys are Billy yeah. Boyd and yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you expect uh, to win this year? Uh, who is in the best shape? Who has got the best I techniques? think it's really, really, really depending on the weather condition. It's, uh, it should if, rain. Eh? Yeah, if it's rain, probably the technical guy. The, whatever we heal, heal that we see, this is the easy way. But when you're in the forest, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Uh, huge roots. Yeah, huge, and it's extremely slippery. So if you're not uh, there, you have to be good technique. I think Graham will take against many guys, as always. And I don't think Billy has a chance uh, in this rain. Uh, if he goes slow or if he take care of a bike, you know, it's uh, Manuel is going well, and he, this is his yeah. land. He yeah. have experience. Yeah. He won a few times, two times. Yeah, Gomez is good. It's uh, yeah. Esberg is yeah, a good surprise. Yeah, and, and there is so much uh, that you have got luck or you are unlucky and yeah, yeah. one one big mistake or some yeah. technical problems what always can happen. Of course this yeah. is very fast race. If you made even a small mistake it costs you a lot. Yeah. And in the prologue for every second second late it's put you yeah, 60 yeah, 70 yeah. back yeah so yeah. it's important but let's see I'm sure uh, mostly pros will be in the first line and uh, even if they start in the second and third line they will pass in the first uh, good yeah. section the other guys because this is really technical race and uh, but if you are not uh, making good time in the prologue uh, it's really blocking your way to finish this event yeah. because of queue in the yeah. forest it's yeah. too small you know yeah. imagine 500 riders uh, in that queue it's really good. yeah and what about you you are traveling all over the world going all the event uh, when you're going to be retired or you're going to be retired <laughs> I think never. Yeah, never? I, yeah, it's it's really part of my life to go everywhere and, and see the actions to yeah and, and also not only to focus on the top guys like many other magazines. Yeah. So sometimes for me it's also very interesting to, to show the world these underdogs. Yeah. And there are so many privateers who give everything, they put all their money in they to, to be here or at other races and uh, yeah that's Fascinating. For okay. Me. Uh, question. 
what does it mean in the world? I mean, why you like this sport? Yeah, because it's so, when, when you see that compared to, to car racing, so it's only about the money. Yeah, you, you spend 100,000 euros more and you are half a second faster or in, in MotoGP or Superbike World Championship. Yeah. And here uh, you see that sometimes uh, riders with a stock bike, yeah. they can be on the podium. Yeah. Uh, and, and others they spend... Price, full with prices. But my real question is, uh, I don't know, I have experience like Yeah. You always ask the question. Now it's my turn. Yeah. I'm asking you, why? Why did uh, you love that sport yeah, that much? Or because why? you are you are so so close to these riders, yeah. and, and sometimes when you see there is uphill where <coughs> I can cannot climb up on all <laughs> my four wheels, yeah. and then they go oh, zack up uh, with a bike, go there and. Yeah, in, in which other sport you have got that, and, and so trials riding, as in, that is so boring. Uh, yeah, boring. I don't like that. Action. That is, okay, we can yeah. say. That. I can say that you love action and you love to be present everywhere. That's why you are a part of this. How you become uh, one of biggest uh, Enduro channel in the world? Yeah. Yeah, because. I think that that is a the mix of yeah different kind of races. The races all over the world they are so different. If you are in, in South America or in, in Europe or in Scandinavia or in the UK, and and I think that makes it so interesting for the people to see the news from all over the world, and not only from their country. So that is that uh, the reason why my magazines are most in English, yeah, because yeah, that is uh, the world language. Okay. And, uh, yeah, also, yeah. sometimes when I speak with German riders, I make interviews in English because the other people should understand what's going yeah. on. And okay, I have another question now. Oh, uh, <laughs> you have been all over the world and in every event. So, and we are now in Esberg and one of the biggest, biggest, I think, event. There will be, how many spectators will be here around? 10k? Yeah, 10, 20k. 10, 20k, okay. When you compare all uh, events, what is the top three race for you? I mean, you have to consider yeah, about the yeah, spectator, yeah. Yeah, know, organization, yeah. where are we, hospitality, the option for the yeah, rider. Yeah. I, I think for me, uh, yeah, the, the top one is like for, for a lot of riders, I think also is. Uh, I think Red Bull Romaniacs. Romania. Yeah, this they, 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 because the also the Romaniacs, it is expensive to ride there, but yeah, yeah in the end, uh, the people go home with a smile on their face. Yeah. Uh, it, it costs a lot of money, no question. Uh, but yeah, from the safety perspective, you've yeah. got an emergency button, and when you press the emergency button, there comes really a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is not only a joke or a safety feature what perhaps works yeah. it is like that and, and the, the overall organization that they are really good on social media yes. yeah you see nearly every day you see something about Red Bull Romaniacs yeah. if it's interesting or not but you have got always new information and a lot of race organizers they forget over the whole year, year and and to promote their thing and then that is yeah what I think one really they one, have one to do, yeah, yeah. And, okay. and, and another uh, very important race for me is yeah, the roof of Africa. Yeah. Because when you have been there one time, you will fall in love with South Africa and with especially with Lesotho. So friendly people. I never had any problems. There is a lot of crime when you see in the news and everything. But but when you are there, yeah, it's it's really fantastic. Uh, and, and the landscape when you stand on Bushman's Pass and. You can look 150 k's yeah. <laughs> away. There, that, that is unbelievable. Great. Okay, what's the third one? Last one. Let's come. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think so. So, like Erzberg is also one of the favorites because he has so many riders, also from so many different countries from all yeah. over the world. Yeah. Uh, and 
Yeah. There are so many show. interesting. Show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, so like Gotland Grand National, it's yeah. 3,300 riders. Wow. You cannot imagine that when they come to the first corner. <laughs> the only wall, oh, oh, that is, yeah. Okay. All right, Peter. Thank you so much. I am very happy to see you again. Yes. We will meet, I don't know where, because I think I'm going to stop going over the event. Yeah. But you know, when the next event comes, it will be there. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Life. I love it, Dero. This is my life. And uh, as you know, that I'm making mitigator, uh, hard enduro cars. And day by day, we are making more products. Uh, we are uh, trying uh, to be more riders, uh, bike. Yeah. We try to protect them. We try to. Uh, give them opportunity to continue or finish the race yeah, yeah. with the protecting them bike. Yeah. So I will be probably uh, more in the office and more in front of computer yeah, and work like this. But let's see. But I also I want to ride. I miss yeah. riding. Really, that much work, not nothing. So let's see. Maybe I'll be back. You know, our cameraman is one of our. Rider from Turkey, you know my nickname is Turkey. I was fast. Yeah, I was fast and I was. It was good, but now, Mrs. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Mrs. You see, Mr. H. Because uh, no time, no time. I know one thing from Edu right now. Whatever you do, if you don't ride for a while, you are going back. So it's it's you have to be there and you have to spend time with your bike. If you don't spend say okay, yeah, yeah, goodbye then, my love. Then you better forget it. Yeah. Alright, Peter, again. Nice to see you.